Hey everyone, I'm Keelan. And I'm Skylar. Welcome to Foxhole Gaming as part of the Fox Hollow. Today, we're gonna be playing Spirits of the Wild. This is a two player game by Mattel. It's really easy, you can go and pick it up from Target. Let's start with gameplay. Rules of the game. Rules of the game. Rules of the game. To start the game, you need, each player needs a game board and you need six cards, action cards in front of you. One of each kind. There will be two cards that say take one stone, one that says take two stones, add two stones and take one, add three stones and move coyote, and then use spirit car power and recover cards. To start the game, you will pull out four stones out of the bag. And if you were to pull out an opalescent stone, which looks like this, you would need to put it back in the bag and redraw for however many opalescent stones you were to pull out. So the first player turns over their take two stones. They can't use this card on their first turn. So I will go first. So I'll flip that over. I can't use it on my first turn. So I, <laughs> uh, I'm going to add two stones and take one. So that means shake up the bag. I'm gonna add two stones to the bowl. And then I'm going to take one stone and put it on my board. Now on the board, there's multiple different animals. There's an owl, rabbit, beaver, salmon, and turtle. And each animal on your board has a different color of stone or pattern of stone that it wants you to do, um, such as the owl says it wants same colored pairs and it also indicates how many points are there are for each pair. Right, so there is a bit of strategy to this game because you wanna get the most points. And the other fun thing is if you do get an opalescent stone and put it on the special spot on your game board, it doubles the points by the end of the game. But if you do put it down, you can no longer put any other stones on that animal. So I will go ahead and take my turn. I'm just going to do take one stone. Okay. I will also take one stone. Now, if you see on the back of the take one stone cards, there are, each one is half of a coyote. And we will get into that a little bit later in the game. Um, I'm gonna do, add two stones and take one. Hmm. I'm going to add three stones and move coyote. So this is coyote. Coyote blocks the other player from putting any more stones down on a specific animal. And as you may have noticed, we do have an opalescent stone in play. When there are five opalescent stones, whether they're in the board or, or in the bowl, um, the game's over. The game is over at the end of that player's turn, yes. So now Keelan can't use the owl unless she moves the coyote yes. back to me. <laughs> and you don't have to move the coyote at any point in the game. Stones. 
And as you can see, the reason why the first player can't use the Take Two Stones card is because that would give them an unfair advantage because you go first. Well, I went first and you did it. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I'm going to take. I'll take one stone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do add three stones and move coyote. <laughs> I am going to use spirit power and recover cards. So what this means is that I get to flip all of my cards over so I can use them the next turn. But what that means is that I also have to use either this spirit card, the wolf, or the deer. So the deer says take one stone from the board and add to bull, and then take two stones. And the wolf says add four stones, take one. So I'm going to go with the wolf, I'm going to add four stones and take them. Now when you, in the game rules, the spirit animal cards, um, the spirit powers, you shuffle them and then you sort them out when you don't sort them. You put them into two piles, each of three and then you just go through that pile. If you use one, you take put it at the bottom of the pile. Um, I'm gonna take one stone. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take two stones. Now I'm gonna use my spirit power and I'm gonna recover my cards. Um, so I think I'm gonna do the bison, which is a little weird. Um, it says add three stones. So I'm gonna add three stones. Oops, okay, as I throw them across them. Add three stones. Take one of the stones, and then it says remove one to the bag. Get rid of an opalescent. Yeah. <laughs> so is that here? <laughs> so the bison can be a, a lifesaver if you fear that the game is about to end because there are too many opalescent stones coming into play, which is nice. I'm going to take one stone. I'm putting an opalescent stone on my beaver, which locks it in, and will give me double the points at the <laughs> end of the game. All Unless right. Teelan does something. Unless I do something yeah. crazy and drastic, um, which could happen because he's sitting right there and I was thinking about it. But that would be kind of rude for the beginning of the game. Um, that so, didn't stop you before. It didn't. Um, I played this a game a little player. bit more mean. A little She's meaner impressive. than. Yeah, I mean, okay. you just gotta pick up your game. Um, I'm gonna take two stones. Mm -hmm. Because I'm an owl. Yeah, you, you really do. Um, I'm gonna add 
two stones and pick one. Mm. I, <laughs> I was gonna collect them while you were doing that. I didn't think about it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think about it. So there's a little bit of technical difficulties with our cameras. Yeah, first video. We'll see how everything goes and everything turns out. Um, but yeah, is it my turn now or is it? So just just a little recap. You chose a purple for your turtle. I chose a purple for my turtle. And I chose, chose a blue, blue for one. your turtle. And then we talked about how difficult turtle are. Yeah, <laughs> because you have to get one, all one color. So yeah. they're one of each color. But turtles, it's all about that strategy. All right, so I'm going to do... I guess I'm going to do just take one stone. Does that make sense? Yeah, so much. Sure, it does. I'm gonna use my spirit power, recover my cards, and I'm gonna use the power of the eagle, which is awesome. Take one stone and take another turn. So, I'm going to Get this blue stone, put it on my turtle, and then I am going to take two stones. Take the two stones that are left, one on the salmon, and one on the rabbit. All right, and I'm going to do, I guess I'm gonna, Add two stones and take one. Um, I'll go ahead and take the blue one because I don't want to deal with that. Um, at least right now. <laughs> and yeah. I think I'll also add two stones and take one. We get something out. Yeah. Put something on the board. I'm sorry. Um. There we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move or use my spirit card. Um. I'm not exactly how I'm gonna play this yet. No. Um, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna take one stone from the board. I'm not a hundred percent sure which one. Yeah, you are. You know what you're gonna do. No, but like I could take a colored one. You could. And then really, really mess you up. Really diabolical, and I don't appreciate it. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you can't. Can you even do that? I think you can. It's just a one stone from the board. So I'm gonna take that. Um, that's the worst. And then you add it to the bowl. <laughs> you can always, when you get the deer, you can always take your. If oak I lesson. get the deer, it'll come and back. And then around. I would have to put it back. And on then. The board. <laughs> so and you add it to the bowl, and then I'm gonna take two stones, so I'm gonna do those two. And that's my turn. And I'll flip it all over and put the deer back on the bottom. I'm plotting my revenge. Mm-hmm. Let's see how all this goes. I'm gonna add three stones and move the coyote. Here we go. <laughs> Oof, that's rough. Woof, woof.
Blocking your salmon. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see you. I see you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do. <laughs> hmm. Um, I'm gonna take two stones. No. no. And I'm gonna take these. No. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a little rude. There's not that many blue stones. No. There's already, there's how many of each stone two, four, colors are there? So there's six like there's out. eight of each, maybe? I don't know, you might not be able to get it. No. There's no way that I'm gonna. But you can still, it's it's per color. So like, if you got four of them, you'd get nine points. Yeah, you're saying that, but the truth of the matter is, it limits my ability to make points. Look at this. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna use my spirit power. And I'm gonna go with the bear. The bear says to return all stones in bowl to bag, add same number of new stones, and then take one, which we don't like these opalescent stones in the bowl, so I'm gonna put them back in the bag. Mix that up. I didn't pull out two more opalescent. Don't say things <laughs> like that. Well, it's better than it was before. True. Okay. The one that I need more for my salmon. Well, you can think about that. Okay. Think about what you did. All right. Um, I'm gonna add three stones and move the coyote. Um, there's not a lot of selection on here. No, we're really we're getting down to the end of it. Feels like. No. To your salmon, huh? Salmon to salmon. Although I really like the turtle. You have one. I have one. That means most of the purples are still out there. Like, there's one. Okay. I still have time. Yeah. It, yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm thinking. Yeah, I can tell. I'm thinking. What are you doing? Okay. I took two. That makes sense. I took your purple. Ah, okay. I mean, you could have taken a white for yourself. I, that's what I was thinking about. I was like, I can either go for the rabbit or I can go for part of a rabbit and an owl. Okay. That's the strategy right. behind this game. All right. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. I'm going to take one stone. I'm going to take this book pleasant and put my owl. Fine. Whatever. I'm going to lock that in. Sure. Locked in. Are you sure about your answer? Yes. 100% okay. locked in. Okay. You are not sure about Beaver. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm just putting the blow in harder. We've been like very out of stones this game. Yeah, actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add No. I'm just worried because I don't want to accidentally take out an opal, like several opals. If I do the add three stones and move coyote, there's a risk because there's two opals already out. If I do this one, I could play something, but it would also bring a couple more into play. Yeah. You're not wrong. I'm just gonna see what happens. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt okay. fate. Attempt fate. I'm curious. Um, it could be game over. Two stones, okay. Oh God. <laughs> That's close. Oof. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use my spirit power. Oh, it just. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my spirit power and um, and I'm gonna use the ram. Okay. And it says to take 
two stones from the back. This could end the game. This could end the game. Like, like that. Immediately. Yeah. It's also now, risky because you have to take I have to play the, the stones that I get. Right. Put them immediately on my board. And you. I'm scared. Okay. Oof. No okay. opals. One of which these I very much needed. And I will go on my turtle. The other I'm gonna throw on my rabbit. That was lucky. And I did it. And I didn't end the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's getting risky out here. It it really is. Um I guess I'll take one, and I'm gonna lock my rabbit in. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um. Since I'm smelling the end of the game. Yeah. I got a whiff. So I'm gonna take two stones. Okay. I'm gonna take. And I will also then lock my rabbit in. Um, two. See how this goes. I'm gonna add two stones and take one. <laughs> we need one opal in the game that we're. Okay. Wow. So. Wow. Can I take one? But which one do I want to take? You get points on owl. I could, but I think I get more points if I put another one on my salmon. Oh. Exponentially. I forgot what you said. Yeah. I almost forgot about it too. <laughs> we brought out here. Um, okay. I'm gonna just. This is scary. I'm just gonna take one. <laughs> this is too much. I'm gonna take one. You're gonna go there for now. We'll just lay claim to her. Um, even though I really want her on my salmon, but yeah, continue. I'm also yeah. gonna take one and I'm gonna put it on my owl. Okay. So, I'm gonna add, mm, <laughs> I'm just a lot of risk. Scared. <laughs> I like, okay, I might, um, I'm gonna add. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so, like I have to do one of the ads. I have to either add two stones and take one or add three stones and move the coyote. In which case, then you would be able to take whatever is there. But I want to take whatever's there and put one on my salmon, hopefully. But I'm just gonna do add it, two stones. I, I also feel and like take one. Yeah. Because I feel like one this of these is gonna, is gonna be, be an opal, and I'm just gonna need to. And at least you can put something down. Yeah. So add two stones. Okay, move my purple down. So, I have to use my spirit power. Hmm. I feel like if I use the wolf, like, it's definitely over. It might not be. It might not be. But I can even see them in there. Well, there's a lot of colors in there, but... There are a lot of colors. Because you think like we'd have to fill the rest and I think there's still colors even after you fill the board. So. But it's very risky. It is risky. I'm feeling risky tonight. I'm gonna do the wolf. Okay. See, I don't wanna get rid of the coyote. If you haven't noticed that, I kinda don't wanna get rid of it. But why? You're because if for some reason we tie, I want it. Do you feel like you were, well, I don't know. I, 
I feel like you're winning though. That's ah, the no, I don't think so. Or maybe, because I have a lot of turtle. You do. But think about all the blues. Oh no, I had I took a lot of blues. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. And the game might be over. We might be terrible. Yeah. The game's over. Well, I still get you to get take, take one. one. So what do you want to take? Um, none of these are super, super, super helpful. One of them is super helpful. But um, it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be the opal. Because it helps. On the salmon. Yeah. So. All right. Now well, we add up the scores. All right. Okay, you ready? What's your score? <laughs> I got 40. I got 50. I knew it. I, I don't know it. how. I knew it. They were I, close. It was close. It was We've close, which some, is why I wanted to keep it Some counting. games <laughs> where, where, where it was like 80 something. And yeah, they were or something like that. the high rolling games and it was further apart, but um, it was a fairly close game. We had pretty good strategy. Yep. I would say so. If I, if I do say so myself. I'm not playing for a month. I think it's been a month yeah. since last time we played. Um, this is a fun game. It's a fun two player game. You could play with a friend or a roommate or if your parent knew how to kid. Um, I think it says 10 and up, but if you have an eight or nine year old, if they're smart, they can play with you. It's fairly um, understandable. Yeah. Uh, really beautiful. <laughs> Zoe, <laughs> you come to join the party? Are you what? Uh, really, really beautiful game board design and um, the cards and, and the stones and everything just looks really nice and clean. Again, really simple but fun gameplay and strategy. Yeah. So. We give this game a coyote out of a coyote. Yeah, coyote out of a coyote and opalescent stone to top it off. All right. So if you like these videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and leave a thumbs up and click that little notification bell so you never miss another video from the Fox Hollow. And we will see you on Monday for another podcast and again next Friday for our first episode of Legally drunk. Ooh, fun. If you have a recommendation for a board game that we should play, let us know in the comments section below.